Does air cooling your grow lights reduce power output? <laughs> What's up, growers? Take a look at what Santa brought for me. A Sun Systems Blockbuster 6-inch air-cooled reflector. Yeah, these puppies are made right here in the U.S. So, today, we're going to perform a test. I should mention that this video is a follow-up to a post I made on air-cooled lights on the Just for Growers Facebook group. If you're not already, go check it out and join. And thanks to everyone who chimed in. Now, let's open her up and get started. Some of you mentioned that air-cooling your lamps reduces output, so I wanted to put it to the test. I'm going to run this Blockbuster 6-inch reflector with and without air running over the lamp and measure any difference in power output. I'm using a 1000-watt Ultra Sun metal halide lamp. It's already been run in for over 100 hours, powered by a Helios 7 lighting controller and a Galaxy electronic ballast. Metal halide lamps are rich in blue light to fuel vigorous plant growth during the vegetative state. That is, when they're producing stems and leaves, rather than flowers and fruit. So. Open up the Blockbuster screws, and in she goes. <laughs> that was easy. 24 inches beneath the lamp, I've secured this PAR sensor to measure light intensity between 400 and 700 nanometers. That's the range the plants respond to. Okay, let's attach the ducting so it can blow cool air over the lamp. And the air is coming directly from outdoors, where the temperature is a fairly moderate 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 66 degrees Fahrenheit in here. There. I've got my PAR sensor secured firmly in place. Yes, I know it looks a little Heath Robinson, but hey, that's how I roll. So, switch off the studio lights, and let's power up the grow light and the Hurricane 6-inch fan. How's the PAR meter doing? After 15 minutes, it's setting in at 512 micromoles. Okay, now let's switch off the fan. Remember, this is just an experiment. Air-cooled reflectors are not designed to run without a fan. All right, all eyes on the PAR meter now. Now that there's no air blowing over the lamp, will the light intensity rise or stay the same? Okay, <laughs> after five minutes, the PAR meter is reading up to 541 micromoles. After 10 minutes, it's still rising. And after half an hour, we've peaked at 555 micromoles. That's just over an 8% increase. Huh, it's, it's interesting. Now let's turn the fan back on and see if our PAR light meter intensity reading returns to the same original level. Yeah, look at that. After just five minutes, they're down to around 524 micromoles, a little higher than when we started out. Of course, this test doesn't tell the whole story because air-cooled grow lights can be safely lowered closer to plants, around six inches for a 1,000 watt horizontally mounted lamp. So let's lower the reflector and check the PAR levels. There. That should do it. Steady her up a bit. And let's check the meter. Oh, <laughs> and look at that. It switched itself off. Uh, darn. 640. 642 micromoles. See what a difference a few inches can make? Eh? Eh? That's pretty bright. Okay, so what did we learn? Yes, cooling your lamps reduces the output a little. Now, on the plus side, you can safely get your grow lights closer to your plants when using air-cooled reflectors like this Blockbuster here. I recommend air-cooled reflectors particularly if you live in a hot, arid climate. If you're growing in a confined space or if you're cultivating subtropical plants native to higher altitudes. You know, species which enjoy higher light intensity at relatively cool temperatures. Right. That'll do it for now. Please don't forget to leave me your comments, questions, and suggestions below. And don't forget to join us at justforgrowers.com or on our Facebook group. This is Everest, out.